It's Andy in the attic here, complete with a jingle. I don't know if I'll keep it or not. If anyone has any better ideas for an intro jingle, do please let me know. Right, today's little rant. NLP modeling. This is something that I hear about a lot, especially back in the days where I was more associated with NLP practitioners and trainers generally. People would talk about modeling. And one of the things I noticed is that no one just learns stuff anymore. No one... Um, educates themselves, reads a book, listens to a, an audio program, watches a video, an educational video. No, 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 they're modeling. And it's almost like modeling became the catch-all phrase um, to replace anything to do with an educational process. And it was almost, I think, because there's a status thing, which is, oh yes, I've done my NLP, I'm modeling now. What I'd like to see though, is any evidence for the output of these models. Because we have all the stuff like strategy elicitation. And one of the things that is often said is that modeling is not the same as strategy elicitation. Now, that much I understand. But for all the modeling in the world, and the principle of this is, if one person can do it, anyone can do it. Therefore, by modeling out the strategies by which the person performs that whatever it is that they're doing in an excellent way we can learn to do the same thing excellently and there are the classic stories both of one of the the, the co-creators but also i think tony robbins has a claim for this as well which is where the military recruited them to model sharpshooters so basically they take the best shooters and they model out their strategies and they teach that to the other people now for those interested i'll put the link to the research in there because that, that was real that really did happen um and that's one of the stories that that is often told as evidence for modeling where's the rest of the evidence my observation is this that the nlpers who talk about modeling never produce anything new other than their own innovation on a, on a pre-existing methodology or technique they basically take an existing nlp alternative alphabet therapy technique tweak it a little bit and say i model blah 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 and this is the results hmm not convinced but for all the success in the world that's being modeled, whether it's Olympic Olympians, whether it's um, top real estate dealers, stock market traders, whether we're looking at medical breakthroughs, surgical breakthroughs, scientific breakthroughs, quantum physics, um, astronaut travel, space stuff, has anything ever been achieved through NLP modeling? Now, if that is the case, I'd love to see evidence for it. So do please stick it in the comment section. At this point of making the video, I'm completely skeptical as to whether actually any of it exists. And the only reason I'm skeptical is I hear lots and lots of claims being made by people who I suspect don't really know what it is they're referring to. But simultaneously, I've not yet seen any evidence apart from the US military sharpshooter stuff. If there's anything else out there, do please stick it in the comment section so I can take a look. I will be very interested to see. And one last little thing. If you understand the difference, if you can explain the difference between NLP modeling and NLP strategy elicitation, if you can explain that in a nutshell, do please stick that in the comment section below. Don't please refer me to the Whispering in the Wind book. Um, I have read that book. Um, yeah didn't really get it myself and I couldn't I was not un understanding the difference that Grinda was um, trying to define in there so I didn't really get it um, do please help me out it's a jingle Pieces.